international fame came to Dr. Ralph Bunch in 1949 when he returned from the Near East to report success in negotiations for an armistice between battling Israeli and Arab forces, an achievement which earned him the first Nobel Prize ever awarded a Negro. Countless other distinctions were conferred on him as well, including some 20 honorary degrees from the nation's leading universities, among them Howard University, where Dr. Bunch headed the Department of Political Science for years. He later played an important role with the State Department during the formation of the United Nations. America's most eminent public figures joined in acclaiming Ralph Bunch. A testimonial banquet at New York's Waldorf Astoria was attended by thousands, honoring the man who had ended the brief but bloody war in Palestine. Mrs. Eleanor Roosevelt led the applause for Dr. Ralph Bunch, one of the greatest Negroes of all time, a high-ranking member of the United Nations staff, global statesman and spokesman for some of mankind's highest ideals. The United Nations needs and merits the active support of every one of us. It is, after all, our, the people's business. For how can civilization and mankind survive and progress unless we have peace? Unless people, all people, are free. Unless there is hope for progressively improving living standards for all people. Unless there is morality and justice, international as well as national. Unless racial and religious bigotries are completely eliminated, and we can cultivate a true spirit of brotherhood among all men. 